Assalamualaikum We are the students from LO3P2 My name is Ashraf Adam bin Bahiruddin And this is Ahmad Shafiq bin Amar Rafini And this is Muhammad Rafi Thermal radiation is a mode of heat transfer which differ significantly from the other two modes which is conduction and convection. The fact that radiant energy transfer occurs across a vacuum is often disturbing to students unless the theory relating to properties of electromagnetic wave has been presented. The radiation heat transfer rate consists of a pair of electrically heated radiant heat and light source together with a comprehensive range of targets and measuring instrumentation. Next, the unit consists of a horizontal bench mountain track filled with a heat radiation source and an light source at the other. Between the two sources may be placed either a heat radiation detector or a light meter. In addition, a number of accessories can be fitted for experimental purpose. This include metal plates with thermocouple attached, two vertically oriented metal plates to form an aperture and a number of risk uh, what's that a, a strike filter yes the radiation detectors uh, accessory are all clamped to stand which enable them to be positioned at different distance from the appropriate source distance distance yes are measured with a scale mountain or the front track in this experiment some fundamental law some fundamental law i'm sorry Related to Russia will be proved. Hi, Assalamualaikum and hello everybody. Today we are talking about the theory of inverse square law for heat. <clears throat> As we know, an inverse square law of heat is any physical law stating that a specified physical quantity or intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source of that physical quantity in equation form of intensity is direct is proportional to 1 over distance squared. Okay, the divergence of a vector field which is the resultant of radial inverse square law field with respect to one or more sources is everywhere proportional to the strength of the local sources and hence zero outside the source. Okay, Newton's law of universal gravitation follows an inverse square law as to the effect of electric, magnetic, light, force, and radiation phenomena. Okay, at any point, source which spread its influence equally in all directions without a limit to its range will obey the inverse square law. This comes from strictly geometrical consideration. The intensity of the influence at any given radius, which is R, is the source strength divided by the area of the sphere. Being strictly geometric, in its origin, an inverse square law applies to diverse phenomena. Okay, for this paper, uh, yes, you can see this for the radio meter. We check the uh, radio, they emit uh, the radiation. So we can feel uh, the heat uh, from this uh, apparatus. Okay, first of all, we must check uh, this line. So it's parallel to 60 centimeter. Setting to 60 centimeter. Okay. And wait for 10 minutes uh, to take the result. Okay, after we take the result for about 10 minutes, then we move this apparatus to 50 cm. Oh my god, so slow. Okay. Check it whether it is parallel or not. Alright, 50 cm. Okay, wait for another 10 minutes. Okay, for the second result we again. Then for the third result, we move to the 40 cm. Alright, so slow.
Okay, the line for the set result is 40 cm. Then wait about for 10 minutes. Fix it to the proper. Okay, we wait for about 10 minutes. Okay, I can feel the vibe uh, from the radiation. So for the fourth, we move to the 30 cm. Okay, we place it so that it will be parallel. Alright. Yeah. Good 30. Then we wait again for about 10 minutes. Alright, we have wait for about 10 minutes. Then for the next step, we move to the 20 cm. Okay, as usual, place your ruler to find the parallel line. Okay, about 20 cm. Correct. Okay, then at this time we wait again for 10 minutes. And after uh, this uh, 10 minutes, we move this to a 10 cm and wait again for 10 minutes. After that, you will get the final result. Okay. that uses a radiation to heat up food. So, this microwave produces a, a wave that will vibrate the water molecule inside the food and, will, and the friction caused by the, by the vibration of the molecule will cause the, the food to heat up. So, uh, as we know, this is the application of radiation in our daily life. Ding! Assalamualaikum, uh, my name is Hafiz uh, So this is an example of radiation in our daily life uh, Sun emits uh, its sunlight uh, and heat from a nuclear fusion Hey, the hard working man Hi. What you doing man? Doing some work Oh, you some work. What is that? Hey, what? Yeah, you like it? What? No, no, no. Some just some jotting some notes. Something like that. Oh, you are a very hard working man. Thank you. You have changed a lot, my friend. I like you. Yeah, just a little. Uh, hmm. I think you're missing something. Uh. Yes, a break. Please, can you buy us? You guys want a break? Yes. I will buy it for you. Nice to meet you. You wait at my family. Such a humble friend. One eternity later. Shafi, do you know how to search for this uh, formula uh, for this question uh, thermal conductivity? Okay, I think for this first you must no, this is this black body. Hey, hey ada masa je. Hey, hey, I'm not okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I got just a break from Facebook. Yeah, nice. Nice to meet you. I will clean this up. Right, yeah, we're great now. Mike, uh, can you make uh, a sandwich for us? Sandwich? No, I think we don't have enough ingredients, but I will make you a toast. Mm. You want a toast? Yes. Uh, Shafiq, can you please set up the toaster? Oh, the toaster. Yeah. Ping! This is the toaster. I wonder why it's in here. Oh, we have a uh, hot set of butter. Oh, sorry, I think it's only enough for two of us. We have to wait. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, Chubby. Yes. Yeah, can I have some food? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's so kind of you, my friend. So, Hafiz, do you have class next morning? No, I don't have. I have tutorial. So, I have tutorial? Mm -hmm. What subject, Hafiz? Uh, transport courses. Is it tutorial at class? Huh? You say you don't have class? No, class, class. Tutorial, tutorial. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Mm. Different man, different logic. Mm. Mm. Is it good spending in this button? Yes. Delicious. Very delicious. Mm. It's from ISIS. 
about the heat radiation uh-huh. I know when this blade turn black okay, as you can see in this toaster they have lines of heating animal okay. Okay, so when we when we let the blade to toast for too long uh-huh. it will radiate more heat and then this blade will lost water Oh. And then we turn dark like So, everything that we learn in class hmm. is applied in our daily life. Synchronized to the motto of the unique KL where knowledge is applied. Can I ask some more? Oh, okay, we're going again. I'm coffee. Hey, you are never this person. No, no, this is. Coke like oh. zero sugar. <laughs> Very refreshing. Yeah. I'm afraid it's finished already. It's gonna be good. Hi guys, we have come to the end of this mini project. Okay, to conclude this project of what we have learned, we we apply it in our daily life, such as we learn about the radiation of heat. So we have applied it in the microwave, in the nature, the sunlight, and the toaster. So special thanks to all of the members that can make this video happen, and not to forget to our lecturer, Madam Aiza, and Sir Munawa for all the helps that we needed. Okay, Assalamualaikum and thank you.